but it's all grassy here. Oh no. Don't you want to retire young, right? Stop working and, and live financially free. Hello, Sheriff. How you doing? Good, good. 50% of you will be average. 33% of you will be below average. One fifth will be above average. One to 2% out there will do very well. So dumping it on the man, on the males, to pay for everything. Ladies just looking at me. like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, consider joining membership, leave a comment. What's up guys? What is going on? Welcome back. Another Red Rover ride on a beautiful day. Not so humid. Not so humid at all. Man, I wish it was like this all the time. <laughs> I wish it was like this all the time. Uh, I'm gonna take the streets. Okay. I think about taking the shortcut. You know what, let's take the shortcut. Let's take the shortcut. Okay. Shortcut's way over here. Last street? Yeah, I think it's the last street. I think it's the last street. I might be wrong. Let's take the last street. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm right. It's this one right here. All right, hopefully you like my previous video that I made. Hopefully you liked the previous video that I made. Talked about editing, telemetry data. Don't know how helpful that was, but if you want more member-only content, let me know. All right, all for sale. Houses for sale. Take a shortcut. I think it's dry enough. Oh, that's weird. I'm not wearing any compression tights. Oh, but it's all grassy here. Oh no, not really what I wanted. Uh, it's all grassy here. The seeds will stick onto my shoes. I'm trying to follow a line here. I'm using the throttle standing up because I don't want to get the seeds on my shoes. Uh, Got to make a note of that when I come back. Plus, I just, I'm in my shorts. I'm at, I have bare skin. I don't want the seeds slapping me on my skin, too. Uh, it is warm out here, but not very humid in the 80s. Beautiful day. Beautiful weather. I'm still uh, not yet. Yeah, I'm still gonna go to the clubhouse. I just have a lot of stuff to do. I wanna just get my bike ride in today. Oh, I already feel a, I feel a seed in my shoe already. So, I'm going to the clubhouse. I will do some off-roading, but not today because it's still pretty warm. When I go off-roading, I like to wear the uh, neoprene boots and my frog hog pants. Okay, there's still a lot of bugs out there. A lot of critters. And I'll go back into the levee system. But right now, I'm just having my shorts on. I got bare skin. Blink your eyes. I blink my eyes and try to hold my breath. 
from all that dust being blown out by the uh, maintenance crew. Yeah. Oh, man. I could ride like this all day. I wish I could, but I got a lot of stuff to do at home. I got uh, an exhaust for my uh, pressure washer. I leave that pressure washer outside the house. No room in the garage, but the exhaust is rusting out. It gets a lot of heat too, so it rusts out. So I had to order a new exhaust. I gotta put a new exhaust on the uh, pressure washer. There are like a, a few things that I realized that you need. If you're a, uh, if you're a homeowner, if you're a homeowner, this would be really good to have in your garage or part of your garage for house maintenance. Air compressor. I use that thing all the time, maintaining and keeping clean my lawnmower, uh, just brushing, cleaning off equipment. You know, that compressed air, uh, cleaning your engine, blowing off dust off your engine or water off your engine. Uh, the power washer, man, I use that all year round. Wash the car, wash the house, wash the sidewalk, you know, pressure wash the walkway, the siding. Uh, I clean my engine, my engine bay with the pressure washer. Then I use the compressed air. Then I use the uh, compressed air to uh, blow it dry. It's a lot of a lot of uses for those just those two items: compressed air and a pressure washer. Just those two items alone, I use a lot, more than I ever thought I would. Maintaining my house, that's my other duty in retirement, maintain my house. For all you homeowners out there, you know what I'm talking about, if you own a home. If you're a, if you're a renter, then you don't know what I'm talking about, or if you're a person who doesn't do any home maintenance on, on the property you own, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, let's see. I will take the decom the gravel trail here. Uh, let's do that at least. Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little warm. I'm gonna throttle here. I'm just gonna throttle a little bit. Pretend I'm riding a moto e-bike. I'm riding a moto cycle. Pretend that I'm riding a motorcycle. I'm moto e biking, everybody. I'm moto e biking. I'm just sitting down and pushing down on the throttle. Another thing I want to talk about, you know, is I'm, I guess technically I'm retired and uh, I'm looking for other YouTube channels that talk about retirement. Not trying to get to retirement, but talk about what you do during retirement. What's life like? How you occupy your time? Things that you do. Oh, oh we're getting a little sandy here. Okay, slow it down. And uh, I really haven't found any channels. I, I found some channels that talk about retiring, you know, young. Of course, that's always a popular subject. Don't you want to retire young, right? Stop working and, and live financially free at a very young age. Ooh. Got to get up here. Oh, uh, had to pedal a little bit. Oh, there's something going on. I see the sheriff. I see the sheriff with his lights on. Pulled someone over for probably speeding. Now he just turned it off. So, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I could talk a little bit about that. But the other thing I want to talk about, I mean, in life in general, is my oldest is now of age. She's turned 18. 
graduating this school year or next year, 2022. Yeah, class of 2022. And, uh, yeah, so time's flying by. So uh, when you're parenting, oh, the sheriff's over here. Came, uh, came out here. Hello, sheriff. How you doing? Good, good. So when you're parenting, it's not from, you know, you think parenting as like, oh, you're raising a baby, you're raising a toddler, a child. Then you take them to elementary, then middle school, high school, and you deal with all the growing pains. It's actually way more than that. I mean, parenting never really stops. I have to, I probably most likely will have to parent, be parenting, well, probably for the rest of my life, you know. You never stop being a parent just because your children are of legal age now. You're still their parent, and uh, if you want to uh, make sure that they're happy and you're happy and there's no trouble in, in the family, you want to keep an eye on them. You want to give you want to give them a good head start as an adult. So we're going to be doing a lot of things with my oldest. My youngest has another nine more years, ten more years, maybe. So uh, you never stop parenting. So we're going to be opening bank accounts, getting her uh, situated financially. Uh, we're going to try to give her the best head start. As far as school, I, I don't know what we're going to do for school. You know, she really doesn't want to go to school anymore. I don't blame her, you know. You spend, uh, I don't know, what, 15 years of your life? Oh, Nats. You spend 15 years of your life going to school, you probably get a little tired of it. Plus, I don't know what the benefit of going to school is other than getting a degree for that sole purpose of trying to get a higher wage or become a higher wage earner or income earner. A lot of I would say a lot of people fail in that regard. They go to they go to college, higher education, get into into debt that you cannot get out of. It's students student loans. You can't get out of those. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get out of student loans. So and uh, man, you're already in the hole. So I don't see any benefit other than personal growth, personal development for going to higher education, or, or you have a really uh, strong interest in a certain field. That's the only reason why I think uh, anyone should really go to college these days, but people go to college to try to earn a higher income, which I think is a mistake. All right, I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be going. Yeah, I think that's a mistake because uh, most people will never come out with a higher income. They'll, they'll be average. Think about it. 50% of you will be average. The other third, or right, the other third, third of you, 33% of you, will be below average. And then probably most likely the other quarter or one-fifth will be above average and then the rest are going to do like extremely well that very small one to two percent out there will do very well as far as income after graduating from higher education so and that's i, I believe that's the reality but you know we were people are always pushed my my mom my my wife wants our oldest to go to college. I asked them, how are you going to pay for that? And they look at me like, oh, I'm also just come up with money to pay for college? <laughs> okay. 
just dump it on the man, I guess. Dumping it on the man, on the males, to pay for everything. I don't know if she really wants to go that way, but we'll, we'll give her the chance. I told uh, my oldest to take the SAT test, see what the results are, apply to two to three different colleges within the state. It's cheaper if we're in state. And let's see uh, what happens if you get accepted. There's probably a high chance she'll get accepted to all three. I told her to apply to three different colleges, three different universities three different places of higher education, like, you know, a normal university, college, four-year kind of, you know, plan. We'll see, uh, should probably get accepted because, you know, unless you're an elite college and university, which money is a big, oh, I just got hit in the forehead, which the tuition fee it is the discriminating factor whether someone can attend that that elite college or not. You know, there's most colleges will take your money anytime, no big deal. They will take your money any day of the week, gladly. So they'll gladly take your money any day of the week. No problem. Ooh. Gotta watch out for this guy. Uh, the lady's just looking at me. I like how that lady just looked at me and just stayed right there for no reason. So anyways, so we'll see what she wants to do. I, I personally think we should, my opinion is she doesn't really want to go to school, so why are we trying to make her go to school. It costs money. My wife's answer is either I pay or we get a student loan. Not we, but my daughter gets a student loan, puts her in debt, which I think is stupid. You know, but anyways. So, uh, but you never, the point, my point is you never stop parenting. You, you're always a parent, even when your child or your children are of legal age well into their 30s, most likely, you know. And uh, I see I see uh, our family as a unit, not as individuals, like, with a familial relationship. We're, we're together. And, you know, to create uh, generational wealth, to build generational wealth, takes a few generations. But somebody has to start. Anyways, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Consider joining membership. Leave a comment. Bye.